Hey guys, in this video we're going to be working through a short 20 minute energizing flow. Nothing too crazy or vigorous, but just a little bit of movement, a little bit of breath to just enjoy this time that you've carved out for yourself on the mat. I hope you enjoy the practice. So just come to stand at the top of your mat. Root through the feet, connect the soles of each foot to the earth and bring the hands to touch at the heart center. And let's just take a moment here to set an intention for a practice. And perhaps there's an intention that you're working with already, or maybe you'll join me in setting an intention to be present with your breath. And then take a deep breath in. And a sigh to release. On an inhale, gently blink the eyes open and raise the prayer over the head, looking up to your thumbs. Exhale, scoop the core and fold down, lifting through the belly. As you inhale, lengthen your spine halfway. And as you exhale, plant your palms and step back to a downward facing dog. So moving slowly, Rather than thinking about getting from one place to the next, see if you can be really present in the entirety of your breath, the entirety of any movements. And just feeling into the pose as you arrive here. I'm just noticing what it is that you're bringing to the mat. And then release the knees to the floor and send your hips to your heels. Child's pose. Walking the hands up towards the knees. Scoop through the core, placing one hand on each thigh and let the knees touch. So just taking this moment to pause, to watch the breath as it draws in and out of the body. As the breath massages the inside of the rib cage. As the sit bones soften to the earth or soften to your heels. And perhaps there's a gentle contraction in the back of the throat Ujjayi breath, an ocean-like quality to the sound of your breath. And then begin to walk the hands forward, placing them underneath the shoulders. So stacking shoulders over the wrists and the hips above the knees. Knees are hip width apart. And as you root down through the hands, just find a broadening of the upper back as you lengthen your tailbone behind you. The crown of the head reaches forward and you're gazing just beyond the tip of your nose. On an inhale, begin to send the shoulder blades down the back of the rib cage, lift your sit bones behind you and look up. As you exhale, draw the belly button to the spine as you round through and look to your navel. Inhale to lengthen and lift the chest forward, extending through the spine and exhale to round to the navel with the gaze. And you can continue in this linear way or start to perhaps take more of a barrel roll motion with the body, one side and the other. Or maybe you move more through some flexion or some freestyle movement, whatever serves you best. And you're moving with your breath. So every breath, and every movement working together to create space and consciousness within the body, within the practice. And then walk the hands just towards the top corners of your mat. Keep your hips above your knees and gently melt the chest down to the earth. Anahatasana. Keep drawing the lower belly in. And then letting the elbows come in to the distance of your shoulders, 
forearms to the earth. You're going to slide your chest forward and lower your hips, coming into a sphinx pose. Long through the back of the neck, lifting through the glutes. And take an inhale and exhale, lower the chest to the floor. Hands come underneath the shoulders, tuck your toes and you can push either to a plank pose or to downward facing dog. So take a breath in and as you exhale, find your pose and we'll meet in downward facing dog. With your next inhale, raise your right leg to the sky. Exhale to step the foot between the palms at the top of the mat. Drop the back knee to the earth, untuck the toes and raise the arms over the head. And as you exhale, catch hold of the left wrist with the right hand and draw your body over to the right side. Rooting down through the left side of the body, engaging the inner thighs to lift up out of the pelvis. And inhale back to center. As you exhale, draw your hips back. Frame either side of the right leg as you peel onto the heel, chest is forwards. Take a breath in. And as you exhale, big sigh. Inhale. One more. Pressing into the right foot, send the hips back as you reach the arms over your head. This time as you lift up out of the waist, perhaps you find a little bit of a back bend as you broaden through the chest. Use the lower body to create support. And then bringing your hands through the heart center. Tuck your back toes and push through the heel to lift the back knee away from the earth. Engaging through the front of the left thigh. Tuck the tailbone under and reach the arms over the head. As you exhale, twist to the right, draw to the center line with the inner thighs. Inhale back to center. And exhale, open up to the right again. Lengthen from fingertip to fingertip. Inhale back to center. One more time, exhale, open up to your right. Take an inhale, come back to center. And exhale to frame the foot at the top of the mat. Sweeping the right leg all the way up and back behind you, three-legged dog. Bending knee to open up your hip, you're still with your breath. So as you breathe in, create a little bit of extra length. And as you exhale, explore that space as you melt into the pose a little deeper. Take an inhale, reach the right leg high. And exhale, step the foot to the back of the mat. On an inhale, let's ripple the body all the way forwards. And on an exhale, bend the knees and float your sit bones high. Downward facing dog. Left leg rises on an inhale. Exhale to step the foot between the palms at the top of the mat. Drop your back knee. Engage through the inner thighs. Lift through Mulabanda, pelvic floor, raising arms over the head. Catching hold of the right wrist with the left hand this time. As you extend through the waist, start to pull your body over to the left side. So experiencing the fullness of the breath through both sides of the body. Good. Take an inhale, come back to center. And exhale as you send your hips back, find your left heel and fold over the leg. Take an inhale, look up. And as you exhale, sigh over the leg. <sighs> inhale. Pressing into the left foot again. This time as you reach the arms over the head, perhaps you find a back bend, lifting the glutes slightly to lengthen through the spine. Draw your lower belly in, tone the navel. Hands to the heart center. Tuck your back toes, inhale, lengthen the spine, and on an exhale, push through the heel, straighten the right leg as the knee lifts from the earth. Inhale to raise the arms over the head, and exhale, twist to your left. Inhale, coming back to center. Exhale, open up to the left. 
Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, release the hands to the earth. Sweep your left leg all the way up and back behind you, three-legged dog. Exhale to bend the knee, open up the hip, keep rooting down through the right hand, drawing broad through the upper body and long through the waist. And then on an inhale, lengthen the leg up and exhale, place the foot to the floor. Inhale to ripple all the way forwards to the top of the breath. And exhale, push back to downward facing dog. Begin to tiptoe the feet all the way to the top of the mat scooping through the belly until the toes reach the hands. And as you bend your knees, catch hold of opposite elbows, sway gently from side to side. Root through your feet, soften your knees and slowly roll all the way up to standing. Raise your arms over the head. Take hold of the left wrist with the right hand. Root through the outside of the left foot and on an exhale, lean the body over to the right. Take an inhale, come back to center. Swap the grip and on an exhale, lean the body over to the left. Inhale, come back to center, hands behind the back, interlace the fingers. Draw broad through the front of the body, shoulder blades melt down the back and on an exhale, folding all the way forwards, arms over the head. Maybe you're swaying from side to side. Maybe you're staying here and just using the breath to explore the space in the body. Good. And then from here, bend your knees, place the hands to the earth and heel toe the big toes to touch. Then sweeping the floor, lengthening the navel as you inhale Utkatasana, take your chair pose. Lengthening the crown of the head away from the sit bones. Take a breath in through the nose, and as you exhale, release the hands to the floor. Look up halfway on an inhale, and exhale, step your left foot to the back of the mat. Rising up on an inhale, take a high lunge, and exhale, twisting to the right. So piecing it together. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, drop the back knee to the earth. Untuck the toes as you catch hold of the right wrist. Take an inhale breath, left wrist, and exhale over to your right. Inhale, come back to center, and exhale, folding over your right leg, peeling the toes towards you. Press into the right foot, frame it at the top of the mat, tuck your back toes and step left foot to meet the right. Take an inhale to lengthen your spine, and exhale to fold over your toes. Bend your knees, Utkatasana, sink the hips down, lengthen the navel, drop the shoulders away from the ears. Take a breath in, and as you exhale, hands to the earth. Look up halfway on an inhale, and exhale, step the right foot to the back of the mat this time. Raise the arms up as you root through the feet, high lunge, and exhale, twist the body to the left. Inhale to come back to center. Exhale, drop the knee to the earth. On an inhale, reach up, catch the right arm. And on an exhale, pour over to the left side. Inhale, back to center. And exhale, send your hips back as you lean over the left leg and breathe. Take a breath in. Root through the left foot. Frame it at the top of the mat, tuck the back toes and sweep your left leg all the way to the sky this time. Placing the left foot down at the back of the mat, bring your knees to the earth, send your hips to your heels and your hands onto your thighs. Steady the breath. and then slowly take the feet from underneath you. Extending the left leg out and bring the sole of the right foot to the inside of the left thigh. Root through your sit bones, turning the body over the left leg. 
extend through the waist on an inhale and exhale to pull your body over your left leg. And if you don't have the foot, if the toes aren't in reach, you can use a strap or a belt or hold on a little higher up the leg. Try not to grip and pull too much. See if you can soften. On an inhale, lifting up through the chest. We'll swap to the other side. So bending the sole of the left foot in towards the right inner thigh. Take an inhale breath and exhale to fold. Keep rooting the sit bones to the earth. Stay active through the right foot. Inhale, walk the hands back up towards you. Bend both knees and place the soles of the feet to the floor. Shuffling the hips to the center of the mat. Extend the hands out in front of you and slowly roll down onto the back of the body. Bringing the knees into the chest. Have a little rock from side to side. And then with your right knee drawing into the chest, lengthen the left leg down onto the floor. Catch hold of the right thigh and extend the right toes up towards the sky. Slowly bending the knee. Take hold of the outside edge of the knee or the top of the thigh with the left hand. Extend the right hand out to the side and start to draw the left leg over to the right side. The gaze is over the right shoulder. And then inhale, come back to center. Use your core and swap the legs over. So take the left knee into the chest, squeeze it in tight, and then catch behind the thigh as you stretch the foot up towards the ceiling. Keep your shoulders dropping away from the ears. And then drop the leg down. Catch hold of the outside of the thigh or the knee as you pull your body over to the right side, taking a twist. And then inhale, come back to center. Bring your knees into your chest for one last little squeeze. And lengthen yourself down onto the mat. Let the shoulders drop down the back of the body, the palms face up towards the sky. One last deep breath in through the nose. And a big sigh. And slowly start to bring some awareness back to the body, to the breath. Begin to wiggle the fingers and the toes. 
Stretch the arms over the head. Point the toes. Bring your knees into the chest and squeeze them in tight. And you can make your way up to seated in whatever way feels most comfortable. And just take a moment with a soft gaze or with the eyes closed. Just observing yourself in your fullness. Connecting the hands to touch at the heart center. Namaste. If you enjoyed this video, then you can subscribe to my channel or check out one of my playlists. I've got loads more to share and I hope to see you soon.